Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful asset sort of add-on known as Terrainscapes. Terrainscapes is made available by the folks at Contrast Render and the idea for this is for you to be able to work with the asset browser and create terrains really quickly. Now this comes with a couple of shader nodes that allows you to play with the vegetation texture, the snow and also the rock. So with that said, for those who like to get this, you like to try it, there is actually a $1 trial version that you can pick up right here on Blender Market and this comes with five different terrains, 4K maps about the snow, vegetation, rock, height map, and also the floor map. So once you're comfortable with what you've gotten, you can now proceed to get the full version. And I believe this is fair game for everyone. Now with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply opened right here, once you've downloaded the terrainscape, you need to extract it. Now, once you extract it, you go over to edit, go all the way to preference, and right here where you have your file path, you can now attach the file path by clicking on the plus sign and you attach the file path right there. The next thing you need to do is click and drag to get a brand new editor and then we'll switch this from the 3D viewport over to the asset browser. Now, once you do that, you'll notice nothing is here because we're working with the current file. What we need to do is click on the drop down and switch this to terrainscapes. And once you do that, you would notice that we have all of the kinds of terrains that we want. So if you're looking at mountain range, there are different kinds of terrains that exist with that. So you can take a look at the canyons, you can see the desert, the highlands, you know, the savannas, the shrublands, all of these things are right there. Now, if you want to bring in any of them, it is quite easy. Click, drag and drop directly within your viewport. And this is how easy it is for you to bring something in. You can go ahead and bring in as much as you want and decorate your scene. And this would be very useful for those who likes to create landscape. Now, for those who are also thinking about playing with the mountains, there's also a couple of other ones. So with the asset loaded in, we'll switch over to cycles then drag out another editor. I'm just going to crunch this a little bit towards this part and change this second editor to the shader nodes. Now, once you switch it to the shader nodes and jump over to the rendering, you can now see what you've got. So let's go ahead and throw in some light. So what we're going to do is switch this from object to world. And because we're using Blender 3.0, I'm just going to go in and type in the word sky texture. And we're going to throw in the Nishita sky right in there. So with that, we can select the object, switch this over to object, and we can start making some changes. So in this case, if you like to play with the flow, you can play with the flow if you want. If you want to play with the vegetation, because you know, we have that right there, I can go in and play with the vegetation. So let's go all the way to the top. So we have the rock right there. Let's scroll all the way down. Yeah, so at this point, if we like to reduce the intensity, we can take that out. If we like to play with the blending, we can also do that. And, you know, if you're thinking about animating, this is also quite easy because you can right click and keyframe these things however you want. So we can have that and push this all the way in and drag that all the way out. So if you take a look right over here, you would notice we have a couple of noise masks. So if you like to throw in those noise masks, Let's say we'd we'll like to throw in some noise mask right here, or maybe you want to throw in something around this part. Yes, you can. So this is more like an asset pack. And of course, if you're thinking about getting this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check it out. And of course, if you'd like to see some more stuff from the folks at Contrast Render, you can also take a look at the mountainscape that they've also made available. So this is more like it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.